everybody. It's, uh, it's almost 6.30 in the morning, June 6th. We're on the Mount Rubidoux Trail. We're gonna go climb about 500 feet to get to the top of Mount Rubidoux. This is our view. Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you our hike in Mount Rubidoux in the heart of Riverside, California. This hillside trail is popular to locals and those who live in the Inland Empire. I've been able to complete this hike many times before, but now it's time to bring my family and all of you along. I usually tend to leave my car at Carlson Park, that way I can avoid any large crowds that may accumulate in the front entrance to the main trail. The only downside to this is you're going to have to climb up a side dirt trail that takes you to the main trail. This dirt path will be the most difficult part of the hike. As soon as you get to the paved part of the trail, it's a smooth uphill walk to the top. at the Carlson Park parking lot. It's about a 200 foot climb to the trail. And we probably still have about a 300 foot climb till we get to the top of Mount Rubidoux. The mount is named after Louis Rubidoux, who owned most of the land in the area in 1847. Half a century later in 1906, Frank Miller, the owner of the Mission Inn, wanted to turn this area into a city park. A word to the wise would be to not enter this area like I did. It smelled like human relief if you catch my drift. While at the top, I recommend hanging out for a little bit at the Overlook to check out downtown Riverside. Notice that there's a plaque here that details all the notable buildings and formations around the Riverside area. The most notable piece here at Mount Rubidoux is the cross at the top dedicated to Junipero Serra. This site is famous for its sunrise Easter service held every year. After about 40 minutes, we finally made it to the top. Check out the view. Got the cross right here. My lovely wife. Where's the cross? Oh yeah, I'm tripping. There we go. Cross. Yeah, climb Mount Rubidoux, about 40 minutes. Easy hike. I also highly recommend checking out this structure right here. This is called the World Peace Bridge and probably my favorite part of the entire hike. If you look closely at the tower, you'll notice that there's different symbols and emblems from different countries and continents on this planet. Well, this concludes our hike through Mount Rubidoux. We wanna thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you like this video and wanna see more videos just like this, then hit the like button below. If you haven't subscribed yet, then please hit the subscribe button as well to support the channel. We would like to hear about your experience in Mount Rubidoux, so leave a comment down below.